Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft video. I am Tyken, and today I have a very special video for you all. My good friend the Kind Kitten has decided to revamp my old Let's Play world, and he is a professional builder, so I am excited to see everything he's done to my world, and already it looks fairly impressive. Left a couple of signs. Uh, update of Tyken132 single player world made by the Kind Kitten at Kind Kitten Twitter and YouTube. Uh, thank you for being such a good friend. Oh, that's that's really sweet. Uh, kind Kitten is actually one of the driving forces that made me come back. Really persistent and really nice person, honestly. Uh, he's even promoting my channel. That's nice. Uh, updating all this took four to five weeks. Dang. That's almost a month to do this. I mean, that's about how much I take, but that's mostly just procrastinating. Um, let's see. Eventually, I'll upload this to Planet Minecraft account. Cool. All right. So, first of all, the courtyard looks vastly different. Uh, we both did something kind of similar in that we kind of, well, I guess, made a perimeter fence? I guess that's the right word for it. Um, he did what I originally planned, however, and made a nice little, I wouldn't say this is a gazebo, it's more of like a balcony. I wanted a gazebo, but this looks good too, and it looks out just like I wanted it to. He went overboard on the trees, but that is definitely not a bad thing. That looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the pathway looks a little bit more refined. I kind of like paths instead, but this is definitely not a bad material. Um, one of the building things that... He is a professional builder, by the way, so... I think I've already mentioned that. This, this looks professional. However, some of the techniques I don't always agree with, like the green carpets meant to look like, uh, leaf piles. And I can kind of see that, but to me, they just look like carpets, even with, like, pretending... Uh, this looks nice over here, and it looks like he made a little bridge. Uh, the campfire is an interesting touch for a bridge material. I kind of have a love-hate relationship for it. Like, if it wasn't for the coal pile at the bottom, it would look, I wouldn't say perfect, but close. Um, I feel like there could have been, like, a little thing right here, too, like a little gazebo. It looks like he did his own revamp of my lake. It looks like he used coral, though. I have a love-hate relationship with coral, because, like, coral doesn't really make sense in fresh water. And while this looks good, and better than just nothing, it kind of feels out of place for me. I see that with a lot of other, uh, I wouldn't say professional builds, but really nice-looking builds. People like to use coral in freshwater locations, and it, it just bothers me. Again, not that it's a bad thing. Oh my god, what did he do to my well? Well, let's check it out. Oh god, it's pulling me down. Oh, there's a secret here now. Oh, okay. This is kind of neat. Like a little secret passage on a lot of different levels. Uh, what is... Oh, okay, you could go either way. Uh, secret passage. This looks... Wow, this is actually a really impressive cave system. I wish I could do something like this. He has freaking stalagmites. Or is it stalactites? I can never remember. Ugh. This looks pretty nice. Uh, is this pressure plate supposed to open something? Oh, nope, that's just wool. Okay, you see, missed opportunity. Secret room here. That would have been cool. Although this definitely doesn't look bad. Uh, I appreciate it for the pure aesthetics, but it could use something. Ooh, I know. I've seen on Detail Craft where there's like a sword and a stone... Uh, detail that you can make that would have been cool down here not that I'm criticizing more just uh, offering my own input and opinions I think he's done a great job and I think this is the way to get back up oh oh that's cool he just spits you back out there nice okay oh and I see he's put like a little uh, trickling waterfall down the front Originally, this is actually exactly what I wanted to do. So either great minds think alike, or he paid attention and listened to my ramblings in previous videos. So yeah, this looks this looks pretty amazing. Kind of like what could have been. I really like the use of dead coral blocks. It actually does add some more details. I'm not a huge fan of cobblestone mixed with regular stone. But that coral block looks really good. Did you do anything over here? think oh that's that's supposed to be just pieces of a collapsed wall that that is some extra detail that i fully appreciate 
I really like the entryways. Those look really pretty. I feel like maybe different materials could have been used, but again, that's just more personal preference. Oh yeah, this is exactly like what I wanted to do. Oh, a bridge! Why didn't I think of a bridge? Originally, I was gonna put like a little dock here. The bridge is a much better idea. Oh, I love this. I think I originally put like a tree farm or sugarcane farm over here. And yeah, there's the little, yeah. That was the chest for the sugarcane, because I had it all going up along the coast. And then, it doesn't look like he's did too much over here, besides just planting. Oh, another little bridge. Okay, I like that. Ooh. And the front of that looks beautiful. Damn. I could learn a thing or two. Like, I've always known I'm not a professional builder, but... Dang. Shroom cave. Oh my god. I must say I'm a fan. The mushrooms don't quite look like mushrooms, but they look like mushrooms enough. I like it. I like it a lot. That'd be really cool to put something up in there. It's like a little sign, like an Easter egg or something like, hey. Actually, maybe there is something. That's what I would do, so. Nope. Ah, missed opportunities. Still very beautiful. I originally want to have like a little waterfall coming from right here and trickling in, but this looks good too. Yeah, look at all that. It's freaking beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. So I pretty much wasn't going to do anything with this. Not really, anyway. Alright, let's see. Go back. The outside view of all this looks good. Oh! He made that into a room. Interesting. It's kind of like a little cave. I'll show you guys. Ooh! I actually like this, the, the bridge. I definitely need to learn how to make bridges. Uh, let's see. Um, the stairwell going up is still kind of, I'd say bland, but it, it, it's always needed work, and that's why I originally replaced it, just because you can't really do much with it. Although it's really weird to have random pieces of leaves in the wall. Is that supposed to be like vines? I don't know. It doesn't look like vines. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think that looks really nice too, kind of like built up like stony formations. Uh, right there. I kind of like my waterfall right there, and I feel like it's still a really great addition. But this looks good, too. Ah, I see he put a little pond over here, too. That's good. I love that. Look at that. Again, I, I prefer mine, but that's just personal preference. This still looks good. I can appreciate the hell out of this. Look look at the look at the freaking front of the house. It looks beautiful. Now, I miss the big open windows. Like, I love sunlight and... I don't like cramped walls, but this looks freaking beautiful. Professional is the best way I can describe this. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, before I go inside, I want to check out the rest of the outside. This looks like the graveyard, except an actual graveyard. You have like a dead tree here. Ooh, the magma block on the top. That That's classy. I like it. Soft, dull glow. Everything's kind of kind of decrepit and falling apart. Holes everywhere, wither roses, spider webs. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Soul sand for the graves? Yeah, that's creepy. You even kept this part relatively intact. Uh, he did not do anything in here, although he did kind of finish this part, which actually looks really nice. I like that. You know, I never knew what I was going to do with this. Or that, for that matter. So, Let's see. Uh, what's up with the random wood? Is it supposed to be like... I, I, don't, I don't know what the rotten wood... Is that supposed to be like fallen wood or decrepit path? Like it was a platform that fell apart? Or a roof? It's, it's really hard to tell. Like I said, some of the building techniques are very creative. Like the carpet thing. But it breaks my immersion more than it it adds detail to me. So it's it's really hard to say. I do love I do love this. What is oh. Oh Oh I think that's supposed to be like clouds, like clouds surrounding a, a mountaintop. I just looked up and I'm like, that's, is that like a spaceship or something? And then he added lanterns to, to make it more visible at night. Okay, that looks good. 
I like that. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to do something like that, especially in survival mode, but that is a really cool technique that I can appreciate. I really like this. Ooh, Mount Tycan. He even named it after me. I'm going to blush a little bit. What's this way before I go any further? Just... Oh, okay. I see. It looks like there was a pathway going around the outside so you didn't have to walk through a spooky graveyard. And then this collapsed. That is a really cool idea. I don't think there's anything else over here. It doesn't look like you did anything too far that way. It doesn't look like... What button is it? V? X? F? I have no idea what the zoom button is. I forgot my buttons. All right. It doesn't look like he did anything to the bridge, but he made the pathway nicer, and it looks like it goes from regular path into gravel? Um... He put a boulder there, too, which looks nice. Um, see, I I kind of have a mixed opinions about mixed paths like that, especially when it's that mixed. Um, I don't like it. I especially hate gravel as a pathway, mostly because of the crunchy noise. But again, that's just my opinion. Objectively, it's good. I don't I don't want to make it sound like I'm 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 shaming or anything. It's just again personal preference. Ooh. Oh my god. I like I always wanted to do something over here, but I had no idea what. This looks This looks nice. There's like a sunken ship over there. That's that's fancy as hell. And then he he made a huge jungle over here. That's interesting. Why a jungle? This is really beautiful, though. He added a lot of vines. I'm not sure if he added those or if... Oh, there's a sign. Evergreen Lake. Okay. Is this the lake? Ooh, I like the waterfall. And I kind of like the leaves in the water. I wish you could waterlog leaves. That would be a little bit nicer. Uh, let's see. What's this? Drop-off cave? So which is the lake? I don't think that's a lake. That's more of a pond. I think this is the lake. No, this is Shroom Swamp. Dang. Okay. Not only did he just rebuild everything I did, but he added so much. God, this is beautiful. Look at that. Just like little little shrooms everywhere. Oh, <laughs> that's the chunk errors. Um, so basically, I didn't load a, too many chunks around my base. So when the world's updated, new chunks spawn and they do not match the old ones. So I'm assuming he's gonna, he, he's probably stopped around there. All right, I think I think this is the lake. Although kitten, I gotta say this is more of a pond, man. Got to get your stuff together. Kidding, obviously. It's more of a more of a friendly jab than a ah, serious remark. And then this is the drop-off cave. Oh. Skulls and spikes. I like that. Was it the drop out cave? Drop off. Oh, I forgot you could do different letters. Danger, dungeon ahead. Steep drop and dungeon ahead. Okay. Wee! Okay, this is really cool. Although... I feel like maybe it could use a ladder or something. Oh. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Is there anything in the chest? Okay, just random stuff. I like it. I wonder if he found one and decided to do something with it, or if he just built that. It looks really good. Like I, I haven't even touched the house yet. I'm still very impressed. Usually when I see professional builders, they do a lot of good work on the outside. Like Everything looks good outside. But the inside is always... I wouldn't say bland, but it doesn't really feel homey. What's up with this? It's supposed to be just a... Uh, you know, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Is it just blocking off tunnels or something? I'm sure that's relevant somehow. There's also a lot of torches, and I did not put all those torches. I wish Minecraft would add an invisible light source block. Because, I mean, that would be perfect for, like, map building. And stuff like, like this, where you could show stuff off without lights being everywhere. That's really cool. Also kind of suggests, like, how, how the heck did a boat get here and then sink? 
But like maybe that's a really old boat. Something. I don't know. Like it's cool. Oh okay. Like what if what if like it flooded and then washed the ship into there? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that's a cool story. I like that. I like trying to explain things so they make sense canonically. Not canonically, but like, you know. Why is there this here? And if it doesn't make sense, then it's just like, no, oh, okay, that's weird then. Alright, let's finally get inside. Front doors. Also, I'm digging this steel drum music going on right now. Ooh. 